Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Scorpio. This is going to be for the first half of your May from the 1st to the 15th. You can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of the month. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else do you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages, uh, collective messages for the uh, collective Scorpio people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So Scorpio, tell me about Scorpio here. Overall energies for Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know? Look out for, uh, for um, the first half of their May from the 1st to the 15th for Scorpio. The Chariot, Cancer, Energy, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, Scorpio, you could be moving towards your goals right now, okay? Could be chasing a goal. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles here in the Devil. You know, it, that Devil energy, it's almost like an energy that some here is just laser, laser focus about starting a new beginning here. It's almost like, almost like an obsession. But I feel like an obsession in a healthy way. I'm not really, I'm not really getting a bad vibe from this devil energy. Um, but but let's just get some more cards just to see what's going on here. The devil Capricorn energy. The Knight of Swords here again, and the Eight of Swords here. One of the things I'm getting is that you're you're going through a major battle. Yeah, uh, you know, if you have been in this devil energy before, this negative energy, I feel like you're trying to slay that devil right now. You're trying to overcome your fears. You're trying to move towards a new beginning here. Yeah, I just feel like almost like with the Two of Cups here and the uh, Four of Wands here, like I feel like you're coming into alignment with yourself and not letting this Devil energy control you, you know? So tell me about the Chariot here. Two of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Swords here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're making a decisive decision here, okay? To heal. Yeah, to heal. Four cups, four swords. So yeah, I do feel like there's a sense of you going through this like, it could be some spiritual battle that you're going through. Maybe just not with yourself, but with other people, with other entities here, okay? Uh, there's a sense of battling here. Uh, perhaps this is ha happening in the sleep state, in your meditation here. The Knight of Swords, we have the Five of Wands. Some of you guys might have a military background here too, or a law enforcement background, okay? We have the Five of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going through a major battle here. Yeah, and like I said, if you've been kind of like in this devil energy at some point, this is something that you're trying to overcome. This is something that you're trying to release here, okay? Uh, it, it, there's a such strong sense of slaying this devil energy. You're stepping into your warrior mode right now. Yeah, you're stepping into this warrior-like energy. But also you're doing it in kind of like in a kind of like a peaceful, graceful way too, you know? So yeah, let's see what else we have here. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, what else do we have here for Scorpio? Outcome and advice. What else does Scorpio need to know? Look out for, work on here for the first half of our May for Scorpio. Knight of Wands, Strength card. We have the Three of Swords, the Hierophant, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands here. 
Knight of Wands and the Strength card. This is interesting because I do feel like some of you guys are able to maybe travel to the underworld and fight, you know, dark entities and stuff like that. But it could be, you know, it could be one of your, one of your gifts. Yeah, th this is so interesting. Some of, you might, some of you guys are able to do like soul retrievals. So I feel like maybe you guys have innate abilities to be a shaman or something like that. Okay, three of swords and higher fence. This is interesting. Could be a situation that, you know, if people are stuck in the underworld or something like that, you're able to help these people cross over to the other side in a more peaceful manner. Yeah, tortured souls or something like that. You could be helping these uh, tortured souls. The Ten of Cups here and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. I mean, you could be reaching a sense of happiness and fulfillment here. Because I feel like you, you've done a lot of spiritual work on yourself and I feel like you've done a lot of spiritual work on other people. So I feel like it's been very rewarding here for you, uh, Scorpio. Tell me about the Knight of Wands here. Three of Cups, Strength card. And the Eight of Wands here. One of the things I'm getting here is that there are a lot of people in or around you that you are communicating here with okay and i feel like it has to do a lot with the work that you do here so it could be a situation that you're teaching people how to do this some of you guys could be doing retreats and stuff like that okay uh you know teaching people how to do it teaching people how to hold in their gifts okay i'm getting a lot of meditation here i'm getting a lot of energy work uh tell me about the three of swords here and the star card aquarius energy the higher fit here and the three of wands You are a clear channel to receive medicine for healing here. Yeah, I, 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 I get, I'm definitely getting some sort of shamanic uh, 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 um, uh, uh, energy here or that someone here is a shaman, okay? Or that someone here is learning to tap into those skills, tap into that gift, okay? Um, yeah, I just feel like someone here is receiving medicine from the universe, the divine, guides, angels, ancestors here, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, wow. Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands, wow. Scorpio, you are in this period of, of experiencing really, really, really good karma. Some of you guys could have cleared out karma from this lifetime or a past lifetime, but I just feel like Things are going really well for you, especially if you do this type of work. Like I said, this has been so rewarding for you, okay? And you've been so successful, uh, successful at it, all right? So, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.